When Thomas puffed along his branch line, he always looked forward to something special. The sight of the river. As he rumbled over the bridge, he would see people fishing. Thomas often wanted to stay and watch, but his driver said, Every time he met another engine, he would say, But they all had the same answer, thought Thomas. One day, he stopped as usual to take in water at the station by the river. Said Thomas, said his driver. They found a bucket and some rope and went to the bridge. Then the driver let the bucket down to the water. The bucket was old and had five holes, so they had to fill it, pull it up and empty it into Thomas's tank as quickly as they could, several times over. They finished at last, puffed Thomas, and Annie and Clarabelle ran happily behind. Suddenly, Thomas began to feel a pain in his boiler. Steam began to hiss from his safety valve in an alarming way, said his driver, groaned Thomas. They damped down his fire and struggled on. Thomas hissed. They stopped just outside the last station, uncoupled Annie and Clarabelle, and ran Thomas, who was still hissing fit to burst, on a siding right out of the way. Then, while the guard telephoned for an engine inspector, the driver found notices in large letters which he hung on Thomas in front and behind. Danger! Keep away! Soon, the inspector and the fat controller arrived. They said. The driver told them what had happened. Said the inspector. He climbed up and peered in. Then, he came down. Replied the fat controller. He clambered up, looked in, and nearly fell off in surprise. He whispered, replied Thomas's driver. They all took turns at fishing in Thomas's tank while the fat controller looked on and told them how to do it. When they had caught all the fish, they had a lovely picnic supper of fishing chips, said the fat controller, said Thomas sadly.